how to turn off Gemini on Android. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to completely turn off or disable Gemini on your Android phone. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So the first thing I would recommend doing is checking to see if you have the Gemini app installed on your Android phone, and then we can either uninstall it or disable it if we're unable to install it. So to do that, swipe up and then go to the G's and look for the Gemini app. If you see the Gemini app, long press it and then select app info. And then from here, you can either select force stop to completely stop it. And then for me, I have the ability to uninstall Gemini, but if you don't, you might see disable, go ahead and select disable. So I'm gonna select uninstall and then go ahead and uninstall the Gemini app from my Android phone. Now, even if you have uninstalled the Gemini app on your Android phone, Gemini will still work. As you can see, if I hold down my power button, it'll bring up Gemini. So there's still some settings to disable in order to completely turn off Gemini. And to do that, let's go into the settings. Now, the first setting we're gonna change is where if you hold down the power button, Gemini comes up like this. So to turn that off, simply go down to the bottom, select system, and then select gestures. Now just find press and hold power button, and you can have that bring up the power menu rather than the digital assistant. So now that once I've selected power menu, if I hold the power button, it's gonna give me the option to turn off my phone or things like that. The next thing I recommend doing is simply going back to the main page of the settings here and go to the top and just search Gemini. You should see Gemini settings come up and as you can see, I still have these settings on my phone even though I uninstalled the Gemini app. So once in here, I just recommend going through everything and kind of choosing a disable option. So you wanna go through all these, just make sure that they're all toggled off. And if you see screen context, go ahead and select that. And what I recommend doing is selecting up at the top where it says default digital assistant app, select that and just select none. Unless you have a different digital assistant you wanna choose, you can choose none and that will further disable Gemini or Google Assistant on your Android phone. So you can just continue to go through here some of these will open up Gemini on the web, so you can actually see your settings within Google, and you can clear out things in there. Gemini in the lock screen, go ahead and turn that off. And then if you see Google Assistance features in Gemini, select that, and then you can go ahead and turn that off as well. Now at the bottom of the settings, you should see Digital Assistance from Google, select that. And then what I would recommend doing is choosing Google Assistant, simply because Google actually gives us the ability to disable Google Assistant on our phone. So if we switch from Gemini to Google Assistant, we can then turn off Google Assistant. So go ahead and select Switch. It'll bring you back to the settings here. And now all we need to do is find the Google app, open up the Google app, and then select your profile icon on the top right. Go down, select Settings, then choose Google Assistant. And then in Google Assistant, scroll down until we get to General, select General, and then just toggle off Google Assistant. So now we can turn off Google Assistant, and now we have completely disabled Gemini on our Android phone. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel.